Hey good people, it's your old buddy Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya. We're going to go through this model D77 echo chamber. It's a diamond electric. And I've already done it and it's looking pretty damn good I think. But uh, let's go through it and check it out inside and then uh, we'll test it out and touch it up and get it looking like this. Let's do her. I'm kind of low energy today, just as a heads up. Alright. Diamonds are forever. We've got a diamond model d77 echo chamber i had one of these in the past kind of a cool unit it's uh pretty rudimentary you know it's just like plywood and uh, the other one was chipboard back here so i'm happy to see that's plywood anyway it's an eight track and uh a little cord storage some more wood this is just the way i got it so uh let's take it apart and check it out and then we'll plug it in and see if it works It's done. Well, here's what we've got. Big solid cabinet. Again, it is plywood, but it's solid. I just noticed we've got corners peeling up, so I'm going to put a little glue on these and tape those down and get those drying while I get working on this, so I'll do that right now. Let's take a look at the inside of this beast. It's looking pretty good. 13.2 volts, 51853. Uh, I'm born in 45, and that's 71. So, eight years, it's a 79 model. Boy, that seems late, but uh, I'll double check that. But I think I'm right there. All right, uh, we've got some power caps. She's pretty simple. Uh, a few little pots here that might need some tweaking. So, let's get those a little wet. And I'll hit all the pots here. Pretty much out of contact cleaner. I'm just sitting here turning knobs round and round. You know I love to watch them turn. All right, this is a cool tape. I've never seen this exact tape before. It's been opened up and repaired at some point, it looks like. Uh, echo chamber. It's cool, it's, it's an echo chamber tape. That's cool. Let's clean those heads. Looks pretty good in here, I would have to say. You know, not only dust, but uh, just the tracks in and out of here show themselves. And when tapes go through many times, they leave little bits of debris on the bottom. And this thing hasn't seen a ton of use, I don't think. The tape sure looks like it has, but tape could have been from somewhere else. Oh, the heads were definitely in need of a cleaning, though. Look at that. Oh. Diamond, this is a, the girl's best friend right here. So if you got a wife that doesn't like you buying electronics equipment or girlfriend, she's like, don't you have enough things that make echo sounds? This right here is her best friend. She's a diamond, D77. She'll love you for it. That's for sure. All right, we got a little bit of gunk around the bearing here. So I'll get a little oil for that. All right. Wow. 
Well, we're really looking pretty good. Man, even the belt's in good shape. We'll turn that inside out and I'm gonna give it a quick wash here. I just use pinch wheel cleaner. Uh, you know, it's a, just a rubber cleaner that seems to work pretty well. Just kind of takes whatever buildup is on them. Gets rid of that slipperiness that kind of develops over time. Okay, everything looks good here. I think we're just going to put it back on. Try it out. Black Diamond! Black Diamond! Alright. I can really use this old tape. Look at this old beast. She's been kicking around for a while. Damn. All right, baby, let's get some cords in you and see what's the deal. Oops, lost my light output. See those repeats in the middle. Speed down, mics down. Turn on the PA prematurely. Get a mic in there. Throw some power down. Power down. Check. 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 Well, that sounds pretty sweet. Check. Check. Let's take the reverb off. That's the reverb from the PA system. Check. 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 We got no uh, VU meter there. Check. 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 All right. We'll look into that. Well, I like the sound of it as a preamp, though. We got a little distorty there at the top end. Check, 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 one, two, check. That's nice, isn't it? All right, here's our moment of truth. Echoes that middle. We should have it already. Check, son of a... Check. Check. I don't think the tape's moving, people. Check. 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 Oh, we got her. Check. Come on, come back. Check, 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 check. All right, I think we might, you know, the old echo tape has been working overtime for many years. Let's try a different tape. It's a test tape. Check. Oh, that's why we like it. Check. All right, it's always check. It's always there when you need a test tape. Check. 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 I'm pretty bassy, but I'm pretty bassy on the PA, I think. Check. Check. But it's uh, definitely got a share of bass. Check. 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 Well, I think we're in pretty good shape right out of the blocks. Check. Let's take a look at where all those internal pots are. Without smashing them. Because I'm going to start adjusting them, and uh, if I have to, I want to have a reference point here. But uh, let's tweak them a little bit and see if we can get maybe a little less muffle. Check, check, check. All right, we know we're not overdriving it. All right, let's see what we got. Check, 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 check. I would say that's our amp. Check, check one two. You notice I'm coming way down here. Check one two. Check one two. Check one two. Start to distort out. So I think we can turn this down. Check. Let's see what we got here. Check. Check. One 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 one. I have no discernible difference. Check. Check. 
Check. Check. Check. Check. This must be our echo. And it was maxed. Check. 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 Hey, 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 hey,
what I don't always do, and that's put things away right away, fold it up right. It's the way to live. It's not easy. It's not easy being cheesy, but you gotta fold this stuff up. Something strange here. Everything I own's gone Velcro, but this is the original tie, so I could kind of a stickler for that kind of thing. Alright. I kind of exceeded the box length. I'm just running hot off camera, people. I'm running super hot. Let's chill out. Get this in there for God's sakes. Oh, oh instructions are making it. Why has everything got to be so hard? Oh. Upside backwards. Okay. Well, this is this is why nothing ever gets put back properly. Why would you put yourself through this kind of? Right. Got to redo it. Oh, my pieces are coming out. Well, I'm gonna pull these, and uh, let's see if there's a light bulb for that VU meter because it wasn't lighting up. There is one. Let's see if we can get a size off of this thing. Let's look at what we're doing here. Let me plug that light back in for ya. All right, there we go. So uh, we didn't have a, a light on the VU meter. Let me dub double check this before I get carried away. Oh, thank God I did, because it's bright en enough in here. It didn't look like it was on, but it is on. So. Either I just wiggled her back on, which I highly doubt, or I was about to remove and replace a bulb that was working. So, again, I'm not, uh, I don't feel like I'm functioning at 100% today for some reason. But we're going to persevere. Let's get something and start cleaning this. We're going to start really mild here with just some rubbing alcohol and see if that will get it off. I'm not going to let that shatter my optimism because I like to try the, the softest thing first. As long as we got a alcohol soaked thing here, let's get into that crevice. It's more of a ridge, wouldn't you say? All right, let's get into that ridge. All right, I'm gonna grab uh, something a little bit harsher and try that. Step two is we work our way up to lighter fluid, not too invasive, not the worst smelling stuff in the world. A couple of drops will do ya. Read the instructions if you're not 100% sure. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Lighter fluid for the win. And nothing's happening. All right. Gonna bump it up a notch. We're going straight to lacquer thinner. Isn't that a cute little thinner bottle? Mr. Color thinner. Let's see what Mr. Color has to say. I want less color, mister. Here we go. I think we're going to go down here because it's less likely to touch the letters. Sadly, we're not having any effect on it. What is it? Well, I, you know, I jumped over acrylic because I just, uh, usually lacquer thinner will take off acrylic too, but I'll try some acrylic 
All right, I'm going to try a little bit of, uh, this is essentially a WD-40-ish type thing. Let's try that. Come on, baby. <gasps> and we got nothing. No difference. All right. Let's go with... Acrylic thinner. I mean, one of these chemicals has got to find some way to break through the barrier here. We got to break the barrier. Nothing's doing anything. This is Flex Seal from 1980. The best stuff ever. I mean, this is, now we're just getting stupid, but I'm going to try silicone. I mean, we're literally getting dumb. Uh -huh. Trying silicone, you're getting silly. Silly in the cone. <laughs> that was the worst joke ever but it's hey that's pretty good actually it, but it's terrible i mean i'll admit it it's terrible all right is he admitting defeat is that what's happening right now there was a pa long pause where i was contemplating just saying well um i'm gonna try a little bit of wax and see what wax does i would say that this is an anodized aluminum and this is a metal polish. Now, I don't want to take any of that black off, obviously. Another neat old can, isn't it? All right, this is, this is it. This is the last tango in Paris. I think I'm seeing results, but I don't want to. Oh my God. The last thing we tried is going to do it. It looks like I'm trying to do this as delicately as possible. I don't want to take off anything that, oh, isn't that wonderful? We found, we cracked the code. Holy crap. All right. We still got to go chill here. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this wet a little bit. Oh, I think we got it. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Got a little water for myself too, a little drink. Took a little drink I did. Okay. You know, I think I'm gonna pull these knobs. Sometimes I like to wash them in place, but uh, I think there's enough going on here. And this is a rare enough, cool enough unit that let's let's really get her. You don't see these things very often. Deserves to be clean. Oh, position. Worst position ever. Half of them were loose anyway. Okay, we're back to making the right decisions. Isn't that wonderful? Let's get those soaking just a touch. We're gonna need a little more water. Okay, now, just because we had a little minor success there doesn't mean we gotta let it go to our head. And we gotta be conscious of the fact that we don't wanna be pushing on this very much and we don't wanna lose any screen printing at all. I don't think I should have got it this wet. We've lost our abrasive factor. Let's dry it out a little bit. Let's shake this baby up. Okay. Peak hole. That's way too. Why do I keep going so deep in there? Just go around the rim, boss. You got it. Oh. 
let's clean up this mess. All right, we got an awful lot on here. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go around pre-soak. Got having screen printing a little. We're going to pre-soak these babies. That looks like paint. Who knows what that is? Any other hideous marks? I think they got paint right there, too. They were so happy. They found their spots that they were like, yeah, man, circle everything related to this position because this sounds amazing. Right there, circle everything. Don't ever change it, man. Don't ever lose this sound. I think that's how it went down. I kind of do. I kind of thought they had it all figured out. Seems like I'm getting a little carried away, doesn't it? Don't make an obvious spot that's been buffed out. That's almost as bad as paint. Oh. Gotta be cruel to be kind. In the right measure, of course. And that is the, the whole thing, you know. The cruel part everybody got. The kind part, it's a little bit harder to muster, but we all got it. But it's just that in the right measure requires a little adjustment. Time to time. Okay. I mean, I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm seeing definite improvement. I'm seeing a lot more time spent on it than I was hoping, but I think it's worth it, isn't it? That is some precision Q-tip work. Oh, I think that's looking good. Let's get up here. Let's gunk a little bit off that base. Mm. There you go. I don't know if you're seeing this, but I feel really comf confident that I am getting right up to the edge of the screen print without getting the screen print. A little smudge in there, but no... No contact with it, you know. Oh, I'm taking it. This is a pretty tight area. We might need. Let's see if we can bring some up to the forefront. Here we go. There we go. Oh, way too much. Oh, I don't like having it on the print. I might go dry. I'm just going to dry heave on this thing. Mm. I think dry heave is the right, the right term, is it? <laughs> it's working. Yeah. Uh. All right. I'm not sure if that's having any real effect, the sounds I'm making. All right, we're really we're running out of steam here. It seems like we everything else was coming off a lot easier. He must have really circled these hard. Maybe went around twice. Two, three, two, and three. Be going to four though. Man, I'm putting down some serious torque here. Oh, foot pounds is how it'll be. I'm exerting some foot pounds, some metric tons. What's this move? Just smearing on metal polish. Let me get this a little better. Stay away from that screen print. Oh. See it there. Oh, I can still see it here too. 
here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. The remnants of the previous taste. Here, there, and everywhere. But mainly just two and three. Okay. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I think we got to, you know. What's the uh, inevitability of returns? What is it? Diminishing returns? I think we're at the point of diminishing returns. Inevitability? I think we beat to death the inevitability of death to death just a little bit. I think we beat the inevitability of death to death just a little bit. Gordy. That's a guy we lost way too soon, the tragically hip. If you're not, you know, not everybody likes the same stuff, but if you're, you like anything like Bob Dylan or REM, I don't know why you said that, because that's a terrible thing to say, because people make comparisons between the two, and why would you, why would I ever do that? I'm like my own worst enemy right here. Hate people that talk about REM and the tragically hip in the same sentence. Ugh, hating on myself right now. Couldn't hate myself more. I'm going to get over it. However, that's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, if you like good music, you're probably going to like the hip. Tragically hip. I used to see them all the time. They're Canadian band, and Gord Downey is the kind of lead singer, writer, extraordinaire, showman. Uh, entertainer uh, it's just to watch him perform was an absolute treat front row numerous times we just get there early and rush the stage and then again there weren't many people to begin with you know it was just uh they didn't have a huge following in the state so you'd get shows with 1500 people would be a ton you know a lot of shows with 500 people, 800 people, 400 people back in the early days. Oh, just awesome. Outdoor festivals, little dank bars. Yeah, not all dank, but First Avenue. But they played, uh, you know, some really small shows in the beginning. We go down to Milwaukee and uh, Chicago, Minneapolis. Wherever, you know, within a three, four hour drive to see them. Oh, God, they were so much fun. Anyway, check them out. Tragically hip. Uh, you know, I think we've done about all we can do in here. I mean, uh, this thing looks mint. We got a little bit of, uh, oh, yeah, why don't we take care of that? Somebody has scratched it up a little bit, but we're going to take a little bit of, it's rusting, so we're going to take this a little bit of sandpaper, and uh, I'm not going to get carried away with this, but let's throw this under here. I'm just going to oh. and just get rid of that rust. When I say get rid of it, I mean, you know, to the extent that I just did. All right, she's dried out pretty good. I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, this rose silver I've got. And this stuff is by no means perfect match to this kind of golden. Oh, this is, a, again, anodized, I think. Oh, that's flirting with, you play with fire. But anyway, we're going to just brush this on. Some purists might say oh just leave that that's originality but that originality is going to keep rusting underneath here and then eventually little pieces of rust are going to start to find their way around when you move the machine and we don't need little pieces of rust on the circuit board so let's just cover that up
Alright. If it was in somewhere more visible, I wouldn't uh, probably do that. I just oil it, you know, keep it from rusting as quickly. But the fact that it's rusting through the screws and uh, transferring its weight to the metal plates on the outside of it, I think we want to, uh, you know, nip that in the bud. So speaking of which, I should have done it right away because I'm about ready to put this back together. But I'm going to go clean these up and uh, give them a quick paint job, depending on how they look when I'm done. And we'll put this back together. Okay, let's clean this cabinet up a little bit. It isn't so bad, so uh, we're not going to get, you know, we don't have to get too worried about it. But uh, let's see if we can get some of these. Little bug stains off of here and whatever else. Can we get a little more soap on my rag here? does kind of have a little bit of a Tolex on it. It's a, it's a strange material, whatever it is. All right, down here, let's see if we can get this paper off. Okay, I think we're going to put a little bit of paint here. This is an old school watercolor. It's basically the same water paint, water based paint. It's basically the same kind of stuff they would have used. So. We're going to just clean up those areas where those rusty tabs were residing. Get a couple of these other little more egregious spots. Now, with a wet, wet rag, you go back and you, you barely even notice, I mean, you can't tell where you've been, except it's no longer so chipped looking, you know? Again, I'm a stickler for originality in most cases, however, a situation like this, oof, just cleaned it all off. You gotta wait a little while, let her stain in there a little bit. A little premature with the white and a little on the aggressive side, to be honest. All right, that's a lot better. A little bit here we can get. All right, 
here's where we get some good improvement. Okay, just about the right amount. Sudsy finger. Sudsy, they call him Sudsy down at the local bar. Suds! What's up, Sudsy? You know, man. Let's bring in the Suds. He's got a little, little divot up front. Okay, I think that's going to do it, right? Okay, that was another little cold, I think. Stuff's really transparent. When it, uh, one coat is really thin, so I'm trying to say. All right, that's going to be underneath those tabs anyway, but it's going to look better than rust. Diamond, diamonds and rust. Holy shit, I brought that right around. Brought that right around. It's a diamond, remember? Hmm. If nothing else today, we did that. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. These aren't chrome, so we're never going to get, you know, chrome luster. And we don't want to take away the little treatment that's been done. These, I think, have been galvanized. Be my guess. I think we've done all we can do for the old girl. Get the dust out of it. Clean that up a little bit. I think we're going to throw a little more black on her. She had a paper towel. Oh, I do. Oh, it's full of oil. I got those uh, nuts in there soaking in oil. It's not a paper towel I want to be using. All right, let's just clean up these edges a little bit. Clean it. Give a shit. All right, I think that's good. Again, we don't need to... Uh, get carried away. It doesn't need any more paint than it came with. Looks fine. Looks fine. I'd say it looks fine. Let me grab a little uh, armor all rag. I wasn't going to do this, but the more I look at it, it's definitely a uh, a really thinly applied Tolex, so Lord knows she's dry. Oh, don't drag it like that. It's a bad.
bad sound. Let's see what nothing happened. That's good. All right, it's the strangest way I ever went about armor all and something, but we, I think we got every corner. I was all contortionist, kind of freaking around. All right, let's put it back together. I think I'm going to clean the cord. I forgot about that. You got a soapy rag, you feel around, you can find your suds. What do we got writing on the cord? What does it say? 12, 13, 65, 1978. That was my guess, wasn't it? I was right. It seems older than that, you know, it just seems like an old, that all wood. To me, it just gives a 74 vibe. And they could have first made it in 74 and just kept, you know. This is a 78 model of the 74 launched D77. That's a lot better. through. Yeah, looking good. Okay. All right, hey, this thing's looking good. Look at that. She's clean inside. I mean, I dialed it up as much as I think I can. Cabinet's pretty clean. Get that cable through the back. See like that. Should have washed my hands. I got a little WD-40 armor, armor off. Okay, let's get those screws in. Okay, like I mentioned, I got these soaking in a rag with oil. Uh, I'm not going to paint them. I think they look better original, so. All right, now I want to slow down and try to catch those same four holes. No sense making new holes. You know what I'm saying? There's little four little impressions get made here when you put this thing in. We gotta get lined up, kids. That's more like it. This one got two sets of holes to begin with. Alright, we're going here. What's the deal? Oh, it's just tight. Oh, it's peeled up my corner. All right, it's time to get those knobs. Uh, let's get this back together. I think we're going to give this one more wipe because I do see a bunch of greasy fingerprints. For me. 
me just now. Okay, hey, cleaned up pretty good, didn't it? Not perfect. Let's get all these hard left. Oh. All right. This is kind of arbitrary. I'm going right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to line this one up. Doesn't matter what you wear, just as long as you are there. Okay. I watched, uh, you know, you got to check this out if you've never seen it, but uh, Dancing in the Street, some alternate version where it sounds like Mick and David Bowie are just uh, kind of like doing it with no music. <laughs> streets they're just like talking it out and huffing and the suit shoe sounds i mean it's the funniest thing i stumbled on it the other night check it out uh mick jagger david bowie dancing in the street silent version or something like that you'll find it but uh looks just like the video it's got about nine million views but it's pretty funny they're breathlessly you know Singing it as if there, there's nobody around. No band. Could have cleaned that one back. All of them, really. Could have been cleaned a little bit better. If we're going to self critique, they don't recommend. Get a little bit of that out of there. Hey, D seventy seven. Could use a little more glue there. Could have touched up that. You know, it's a really prominent spot. I think I'm gonna get my brush. already armor all this so it's not the best timing but maybe it is maybe it won't stick to the echo machine at all let's get this little this little thing peeking out right here and this Oh, I'm so breathy today. Everything's kind of under my breath. Good build idea. Oh, it is here. Really under my breath for some reason today. <laughs> I'm really liking this thing. I don't think I want to sell it. That's what usually happens. I may never get another one. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, this goes without saying, but, uh, you know, there's a last time that stuff happened that you thought, what you didn't know was going to be the last time, you just assumed there's going to be another one. Think of all those different things that have happened like that. Uh, you know, for example, I was home and I was, this is just one minor example, but uh, I was home in America last year and I was going through my garage and I came across my motocross bag with my boots and elbow pads, knee pads, kidney belt, you know, all my motocross gear. And the last time I wore it was probably 2005. So that final time in 2005, I put away my gear like I did so many times before, not knowing that I would never wear it again, at least not for 20 years, you know. All right. <clears throat> so anyway there's all kinds of those last things you know there's a girl in college i guess shouldn't talk about this but she used to leave her window open a couple of them to be honest with you i was a back door man there for a while but uh, a couple girls the, well one in particular let's stick with the story 
She would leave her window open. I maybe she I don't know if she was inviting me, but was, her window was open <laughs> <laughs> on numerous occasions. And at, at bar close, I would come by and just kind of open up that window and crawl in bed with her. And she was totally fine with it. And this went on for a long time. And the last time it happened, we never said, all right, I won't be crawling through your window anymore. Yeah, that's all right, you know. <laughs> uh, there was no discussion of it. It was just, uh, and I came through the window. We had a great time. And, yeah, we'll see you later. And, yeah, sometime I'd like to see you during the daytime. You know, yeah, for sure. Let's just make that happen, you know. And, uh, you know, I never went through the window again. I don't think I should go back and try it right now. Um, I think that window has passed. Sorry for that pun, but I think you know what I'm saying. Uh, I felt comfortable doing it there for quite a while, but again, I can't do that anymore. Didn't know it was going to be the last time. Would have savored it a little bit more. Would have seared the old memory into my mind's eye just a little bit more vividly than I have it because I don't even remember what the remember what numerous evenings were like so we can kind of piece together a montage of what that final night was probably like and rather glorious I might add but anyway, I didn't, uh, you know, sear the final night's memory in. Ooh, that's excessive. Again, where, when are you doing too much? That's the proverbial question. Uh... When are you taking away originality? I don't know. I think you might not make it look really good. I'm not doing anything major here. Not hurting anything. This is one of those times where I probably should leave well enough alone. But Okay, good. We got it. Whenever there's scratched aluminum, you know, that, that silver shines through so bright that it, it's quite obvious. I think that's it. We're going to call our quits right there. You know, I could, but I think we're going to skip it. Yeah, still not happy how clean that got. All right, I need to get some thinner on this, and then it's time to fire it up. I've used this paintbrush for years, and I just can't get anything close. I bought... You know, I went and bought some pretty nice brushes and spent some money on brushes, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but this thing has a little bit of a curve to it. And you can just get that thing in there like a dental pick and tick, drop it right where you want it. And I can't find anything else that comes close. Okay, uh, let's listen to it. I'm really kind of babbling. i got to cut some of this out because it's Babel City today. Babel City. It's all babble, psycho babble rap to me. Psycho babble. You guys know that one? It's, uh, help me out, Alan Parsons Project. It's my least favorite song on that album, but it's, it's growing on me. Check, check. Cycle babble rap. Check, check. All right, uh, let's turn that down a little bit. Repeat, check, echo, check, nothing. You got tape in there? No tape. <laughs> well, that's a problem. I think I found the problem, boss. What do I do with all those tapes? I just had a bunch of them around here. Here's a different tape. Let's try this one. Check, 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 check,
Check. 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 Oh, crap. All right. We're going to sell it like that for now. Check. Oh, I think it's going to work. Look at that. Check. we got to get that thing just uh, looped up, but I'm, I'm done with this one for now. I gotta keep on moving. Keep on moving. Check. All right, let's plug a guitar into this beast and see how it sounds. All right, I think we're kind of in tune here. up and uh, bring this down I'm pretty hot with a that truck parking Had something going on. Isolation wrap around. Rusty, I am a rusty. A low skilled rusty guitar player. Or let me put that the other way. A rusty guitar player who starts out with low skills is a real bad combo. I'm getting much done today, folks. Thank God it's Friday. All right. 
right, the D7 is Sev. I'm going to wrap her up, I think.